Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to start motion graphics tutorial series and along with it we are going to cover some very useful expressions and scripts. So in this first tutorial we are going to create a loading bar and learn how to use variables and if statements to create a counter in Adobe After Effects. So create your composition and let's get started. So as you're creating your composition, create a new solid and let's name this loading bar and make comp size and let's make it a nice color here and hit OK. And let's create a mask here and let's center this mask. Let's rename this mask one to outer mask and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and change the name to inner mask. Then in the inner mask selected, double click on it and hold Alt Control and move these handles just to create a nice Edge here, so we have outer and inner one. So we are going to change the inner mask from add to subtract. So we have something like this. Maybe we need to make this a little bit thinner, just, just like this. And so we want to animate this. So select both and hit M. And in one second, we want this shape to be like this. And we want to start at the first frame to animate this. So double click on outer and hold Alt, Control and move these to the center. Something like this and hit OK. And so we are going to have something like this. We want to do the same thing for the inner one. Hold Alt, Control, and move it to the center. And hit OK. Now we are going to offset these keyframes so they are not starting together at the same time. And let's easy ease this. If nine to easy step. So we're going to have something like this. Maybe we're going to change the interpolation here. Okay, so we have something just like this and copy the last keyframes, maybe a few frames, paste them there. And then we want the bar to be full loaded when at the three second. So in inner mask, double click and, and then just move this side to the right. So we have something like this and then control right arrow to move one frame and then move this out. Okay, so let's preview this. Okay, so we have something like this and then maybe for a while at four, let's, at four seconds, let's just make it stay for a while and then we want to reverse this animation. Just copy this uh, here. Copy these e frames right here. And then we're going to copy this one just right after this. So not that one actually. Okay, then we have something just like that. Mm -hmm. 
and then we want it to stay for a while and then the inner mask we want it to do this and okay so we have something like this okay so now we want to add our text which is going to be loading and let's put this inside this box and let's trim it right there and then trim it before this and so we want to track mat this so we're not going to use the track mat here but instead we're going to use sit mats and we're going to take mat from a loading bar and make sure to change from source to effects and mask and then we are going to reveal this text okay so now let's add the counter so let's type 100 right there and then the percentage sign select these and align them Remove this right there. And we want to change the color to this color. So, okay, maybe we're going to move them a little bit to center these. Okay, so we want these to be counting and to do that is pretty easy. So just open text and source, uh, hold alt and stopwatch. And then we are going to type var, going to create a variable, it's going to be start, equals zero, another variable, and equal 100, and another variable which is going to be delay equals 0 0.05 and then another variable which is going to be the output of this equal time minus these liar dots in points and then we are going to use if statements up in parentheses outputs list then and then return outputs else give us and so we are going to have these long count here number decimal numbers so what this is doing is whenever these these uh, layer inputs which this is the inputs of the layer you will see we have changes here so it's going to start counting zero is going to be here so if it is at three seconds then zero is going to start right there and so here let's put it at two seconds will be just here and so we want to get right of all these decimals numbers okay so we're going to use a math expression here math uh, cell up in parentheses and put all this inside so now we're going to have numbers but they are actually counting pretty slow. So what we're going to do is divide these 
a thing by delay and put everything inside the math expression. So now we have this active counting pretty fast. So as you see, when it stay, when it get to one hundred, it stops. So basically, this is doing is taking start at zero and end is and this uh, and end is one hundred. So if we change that to two hundred, so it's going to keep counting at two hundred, then stop there. So make that one hundred. And then we're going to add this plus start. So basically, this star is just uh, which number the counting is going to start from. So maybe five, and you will see here it's going to be five instead of zero. But in our case, we're going to put zero on that. So so now we have this set up and we're going to actually animate this now as we have in our example so we're going to put this right back here and split it here and just get right off that expression we don't need it in this one and here we want to be zero so zero then start counting right there and then hit p for position keyframe these two so we want this to start right there and this one right here and easy is this so we are going to have something like this and then start counting and so we want to reveal this and we are going to use a mask and so create a new solid and let's name this mask percent so we know what's that for let's change it to yellow and here okay let's put it below everything and make a mask on it so this is going to be our mask and we are going to use sit mats and take mat from mask there so and then invert the mats and make sure to change the mat to effects and mask so we have this like that and we're going to do the same thing for the percentage just copy this and paste it right there and and check invert mask or invert mat so we're going to have something like this going to Changed interpolation so okay so now we set up almost everything here so we are going to add the last part which is going to be uh, this going to get out of the screen it be for position And then at eight, put it away. Let's easy ease these. So we have something like that. And then let's create a new solid and let's call this mask. And actually we're going to make a mask right here. Turn off the visibility and hit M for mask path and we are going to animate this mask as well so here and then when it's good there I don't want this to be just right there it's easy as this too so we have 
So we have something like that. And we are going to duplicate this uh, on actual in this one here. Going to use sitmaps and the use mask and effects and masks. And so and invert mask. So then it's Okay, so going to do the same thing, copy this one and put it right, or just duplicate it here and to, to mask and invert that. So let's preview this. So we have here, actually we want this to, to start animating back when it is on one hand or so we're going to open this hit U and move all these keyframes right here So as you see in this preview, things look pretty nice. And in this tutorial, we learn how to uh, use sitmaps and how to create a counter in Adobe After Effects pretty easy using uh, some variables and if statement. So hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.